Imagine this, you're playing a gig and everything is going amazing. The band is playing great, you're playing well, and the tracks are running smoothly without a hitch. But then you do the thing. You press the wrong preset. And no, I'm not saying like, oh, this part was supposed to have delay and now it doesn't. I'm talking about, it's the beginning of the song and it is only supposed to be you and the singer playing and you're supposed to have a clean guitar sound and you come in with some ripping fuzz. What should have been this, ends up being this. Well, that's happened to me multiple times. Before you start saying, oh, was it really that noticeable? Yeah. It was. Here, why don't we go ask my wife who was in the audience that night? Hey, Bubba. Hello. Do you remember that time when I had pressed the wrong preset for Emlyn? In the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I do. It didn't sound like a mistake, it just sounded really loud. <laughs> now, maybe the buttons are a little too close together, or I'm just not very precise when I have my Chelsea boots on. <laughs> but it is still me pressing the wrong button. That's why I've got a solution to help anyone out there who is like me and has pressed the wrong button at some point in their entire history of playing guitar live. This is how to get your Ableton playback to switch your Quad Cortex presets for you. Now, before you get worried about buying a bunch of extra equipment, let me assuage your fears. All you're gonna need is a USB cable. You can use the one it came with. The first step is to go into Ableton Preferences and make sure the Quad Cortex is showing up under the Link Tempo MIDI tab. For Quad Cortex In, make sure the remote box is checked. For Quad Cortex Out, make sure the track box is checked. So I have a very basic playback session here for you. The second step we're gonna do is make a blank MIDI track. Then we make a blank MIDI clip, which you can either do by double clicking in the track region, or you could just record a blank clip into it. It really doesn't matter how you do it. You don't need to put any notes. We just need the clip. Now before we forget, let's come over to the output of this channel we just made. And we're gonna select Quad Cortex, and we want these signals coming down channel one. Next, we're gonna double click on that clip and in the bottom left hand portion of your screen, you'll wanna go to the clip tab. Here you'll see three parameters, bank, sub, and program. For the purpose of the quad cortex, sub controls the set list we are pulling from. Note that they start from one, not from zero. So if the preset you want is in the factory presets list, that will be sub one. Program accesses the presets. In this case, preset 1A is 1, 1B is 2, and you get the idea. Preset banks 1 through 16 are accessed this way. To get to preset banks 17 to 32, we change the bank tab to 2 and do the rest the same. So, if we wanted to get to preset 18F in the set list, we would have bank 2, sub 1, program 14. And real quick, if you haven't yet, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. There's a ton of videos like this on this channel and more to come. It helps out a bunch. I really appreciate it. Now, once we have a clip getting us to the correct preset for the song, we'll want to be able to control the scene we need for each section of the song. To control scenes, we first need to make sure we are in scene mode. It's not going to work if you're in preset mode. You got to be in scene mode. Then we head over to the tools tab for the clip have the first box set to MIDI control. Then the second box, we're gonna pull up number 43, which is titled LSB for CC11 Expression Controller. What a title. This will control your scenes. Here's where the number system gets slightly complicated because our first scene, scene A, is now zero instead of one. So you're gonna automate the parameter 43 to whichever scene you want. In this case, I start with scene E, so I have it automated to a value of four. So we're just gonna do the same process, but automate our scene changes for each part of the song. First, I'll press Command R to name the clip. I'll call this AL Verbi. Then I'm gonna copy and paste the whole clip to the next change, which happens at the top of the verse. Here I want scene A, so I'm gonna set the parameter to zero. And we're just gonna repeat this process until we have our whole song covered. Now for the moment of truth. I'm gonna play through the song as if I was playing it live and let Ableton do all the work with the patch changes. Let's see how it goes. <laughs>
have it, that's how you automate your quad cortex patch changes in Ableton. I find this to be a particularly helpful tool, especially when you are music directing. When you music direct, you have to listen to the whole band and play and run the track. So this is just taking one thing off your plate. You can just play your part and listen instead of playing your part, remembering when to switch and what to switch to and listening. It's also cool if you're just playing guitar and you really just want to focus on the performance. You can move around more and worry about what you're playing instead of worrying about, oh, I need to get back to my pedal board and make this patch change in time. It's fun and definitely worth a try even if you're just playing at home. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I've got tons of videos like this on the quad cortex, guitar, tutorials, stories, you name it. I'd love to have you in this community and I will catch you next time.